Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mariah. Thank you for clicking on today's video. If you don't know, I started a dating coaching um, Instagram page and little mini side business. We get down to how to meet and date men of quality or women of quality if you're a man watching this. Go ahead and book with the link in my bio. I'm gonna put everything down in the description box. The Instagram page name is The Highly Desired. So the purpose of today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to know if you are being valued and how to become a woman of value. I see this topic a lot um, on, you know, women feeling like in their relationships they were taken advantage of they weren't um being valued by a man every time they date a man they don't feel like they are of value to the man because the man isn't showing that he values them we have to start with the essential question of you know what is valuable to you right what are things that you find valuable right for me i find it valuable when a man fully provides for me, fully takes care of me. I feel like I can be in my feminine, I can enjoy the relationship more, I can, you know, rest and know that my man has everything taken care of and it gives me a higher level of respect and, you know, um, intimacy factor when it comes to dealing with said man you know that's not the case for everybody but for me that's what i deem valuable right and so you have to decide what is that for you okay and if you feel like a man is not coming through for you on that level okay uh for example so i meet a man and i've dated him for x amount of months and he is not providing for me he has not stepped to the plate and you know asked me if I needed help with anything offered to help me with something um and I just don't see that he's a generous type of person that would never be my case I'm just giving you an example um I would immediately know hey this is not the person for me and I would instantly know I'm not being valued in this relationship when we talk about financially providing and we talk about you know men stepping up to the plate and being men we're talking about old traditional dating values right back a long long time ago women did not work you know women weren't allowed to work and men hunted provided for their woman and their woman was fully in her feminine energy i don't know the history of when you know pick Misha rose to power and got all her minions together and decided that they all wanted to go work equally if not harder than a man but that ended up happening and so now we're at a day and age where that is something that needs to be stated early in the dating stages that has to be you know clarified because we are now in a time where we have a lot of women out making men competing with men uh feeling like they don't need men so for me, I have to, you know, make that clear. Hey, you know, that's what I, that's what I see as valuable. That's how I know you like me, right? That's how I know I'm being valued in this relationship when I don't have to do for nothing. Does that make sense? So in a relationship that I would get in, if I am not getting those things, I'm instantly going to feel like I'm not being valued. My time in this relationship my presence in this relationship is not being valued because that is literally the only thing i ask of a man literally i don't ask you to have a six pack i don't tell you to come with blonde hair and blue eyes i don't tell you you gotta drive a a lambo truck i don't tell you you know you gotta be the number one athlete on the team i don't tell you that you even have to be physically fit i just say can you provide fully for the family for me and, you know, in the future, if we decide to have some little ones, can you provide fully and completely? Because number one, not only am I taken care of, which will in return benefit you because then I'm only taking care of you. But number two, you will feel all the way like the man. You will feel all the way needed. So what does that mean? You will feel fully in your masculine. 
So those are two things that actually benefit you as a man, if you're a man watching this. So that is why I'm actually doing my man a favor by requiring that he is the full provider so that he can feel like a man at all times. There's no polarity imbalance. There's no, hey, I feel, you know, less than a man because you bring home more than me or I feel less than a man because, you know, I told you initially to split all the bills 50-50, but now I'm mad because you don't want to love on me. You don't want to give me tender hugs and kisses because you got to wake up at five in the morning just like I do. So now I don't even like this relationship anymore and I want to cheat and I want to lie and I want to be sneaky, right? I'm doing him a favor by letting him feel like the ultimate man because now he don't have nobody competing for his title, right? He might be like, oh, this gold digger and this and that. Men always do that. Oh, these women, they just want, they just want, you know, uh, to be fully taken care of. They're lazy. They don't want to do shit. Baby, I'm doing you a motherfucking favor. I'm doing you a favor. By letting you pay all the bills, now you fully feel like a man. Now you fully feel like nobody's competing with you. You fully feel like you are the dominant one in this relationship. You don't feel like I can pack a bag and take all my shit and I don't need no man and I'm gonna leave you right now, motherfucker, this and this and that. Blah, 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 blah. You don't have to deal with none of that because I'm fully in my feminine. I'm, I want to cook for you now. I want to get the sexy lingerie. I want to put that shit on and put it on you, right? If I'm not going to have to get up every day and go to work just like you, I don't want to do shit. You better rub my motherfucking feet. You better come over here, get that baby oil and rub my back. Ain't no tender love and kisses. No, 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 because I don't feel feminine. I don't feel feminine to do that. Ain't no cooking because I'm not in my feminine. Feminine energy cooks. Why would I cook when you are putting me in my masculine? Because I have to go work super hard. I don't want to do that. That is not for me. That is not for me. Okay, so you are doing a man a favor by asking that he fully provides for you you're doing him a favor okay because once that polarity shift is off i'm telling you right now that motherfucker will not be real i'm just kidding once that polarity is off he will not feel like a man in the relationship will go to shit i don't care how successful i don't care how many bills you split i don't care how much it will never work sorry it just won't so you're doing him a favor so how do you know if you're being valued right Whatever you value, if he is not doing that or more, you are not being valued, okay? Another way to know if you're not being valued is if a man is not spending his time, attention, and resources on you. I'm sorry, sis. That's how it goes. If a man is not spending his time, attention, or resources on you over a period of time, he does not value you. He does not really like you because men who like women spend their time, attention, and resources on these women. There's not one woman in the world who doesn't feel like she's being valued when time, attention, and resources are being spent on her. I'm telling you right now. The only women that feel like they're not being valued in a relationship are the women who aren't getting time, attention, and resources spent on them. Just know, if a man is not doing that, he doesn't like you. I don't care if he's texting you at 2 a.m. I don't care if you look better than his exes. I don't care if you're more feminine than his exes and his last ex dressed like a boy. I don't care what the situation is. If time, attention, and resources are not being spent over a period of time, he doesn't like you. Sorry, he just doesn't. Let us give some examples because I know the men watching this are like, this is some bulls, you know, some of them. The dusties. She don't know what she's talking about. This and this and that, blah, blah, blah. All she cares about is money. This and this and that. Okay, look, check this out. The woman that claims, hey, if a man, a man doesn't have to financially provide for me. I got my own money. I don't need his money. This and this and that, blah, 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 blah. 
she goes after men she always will say well i can go after men that i actually like that i actually you know find attractive i don't have to just date anybody blase 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 and when they say that they think they're insulting us women who do care if a man is financially capable to take care of us um they think they're insulting us by saying that like we just don't get attractive men like we just date you know the most ugliest beings and creatures on this earth they don't realize that our brain is not wired the same we don't think the same baby girl what you deem attractive and what our type of women deem attractive is two completely different things right i don't find it attractive that a man is physically attractive but is not spending time attention and resources with me i don't find him attractive that is not something that i can figure out on a first date on a first initial meeting so that in return means i cannot sleep with a man be intimate with a man on a first couple dates of meeting him because i have not seen time attention and resources being spent on me does that make sense because that's not what i find attractive the woman that finds appearance attractive she can sleep with a man on the first second date right a woman who finds physical attributes attractive not character not how much money he's able to you know provide with no this is physical attributes okay these women are usually easier to grab a hold of and these are the same women that are the ones complaining that they're not being valued in relationships i'm back the video got cut off but the women that are valued are the ones who value that a man is financially able to provide for them. Why? Because even though men hate gold diggers, gold diggers are just women. I mean, you know, there are some women that are conniving users, drain men to the down to the ball sack. You feel me? They like that though. But, you know, there are women that are not good. They don't have good intentions, etc. Whereas women, like hopefully me and you, if you have the highly desired traits, we are grateful for everything that we are provided. We are grateful for a man being a man. We are grateful for, you know, somebody providing for us. And actually, let me grab my drink real quick. I need a break. Oh my God. Okay. So we are grateful for those kinds of things, right? So... We are not gold diggers. Gold diggers solely look for money and that's it. They don't care about character. They don't care about anything else. But if you're called a gold digger, that is because that man does not value himself, right? Sir, what did you work hard for? What did you go to Harvard, Yale, and, and Columbia for? What did you go to, you know, USC to get that, you know, degree for? What did you do all of your hard work for? To sit around with a bum? Oh no, I'm sorry, you want an ambitious woman who's super good at tech. She's in tech or she's in finance and, you know, she competes with you and she wants to have the bigger, you know what. And at a, the drop of a dime, she can leave you. You breathe the wrong way. She's out. She makes a promotion, makes more money than you. She's out, you know. And it's like men say that they want all these things. They want women to be ambitious. They want women to be independent. They want women to be you know go-getters and then they get those women and why don't we see all the independent boss chick i don't need no man with why don't we see them with husbands why do we see most of them single why do we see most of them not in successful relationships being the breadwinner having to pay for a man to be around because men don't like that ladies it is a facade they think they like that but women like us, we make men better men. If they're not at the financial level to provide, we make them want to go get it and go provide. Because we're beautiful, we're fit, feminine, cooperative, submissive, inspirational, positive. Who doesn't want that? I don't know any highly desired women that have super high up. Walk like I never left. I'm sorry I've been in 10 different locations filming this. My phone keeps cutting off. I'm filming this on my iPhone. I don't feel like charging my camera. So, um, 
And, you know, going back to what I was saying, so it's not that women that have high earning careers cannot be highly desirable. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that is not what men go out and look for. So if you are going to get a high earning degree, high earning, whatever the case is, and you're bragging about it and you're trying to show it off and you think that's what's going to get you chosen, it's not. It's actually going to get you chosen to be used. Okay. Um, any man who values a woman with money is because he needs the money. Right. So we can't, we can't say, oh, you know, I didn't know. Because it kind of makes sense, right? If a man is valuing that, it's because he needs that, right? And you're not being valued in dating. A lot of it has to do with what you're allowing. Who are you as a person? What are you accepting? What standards are you making clear that it is that you want? Are you sticking around even though you've mentioned the standard and the man tried you because he knows that you're not going to tolerate that, but he still tried you to see if he had the power to get you to settle? If you stayed, then that means he doesn't val he's gonna your value is gonna start coming down. So the next time you don't feel valued in your relationship, ask yourself, well, why am I still here? This man doesn't protect me, this man doesn't provide for me. This man says he wants a high earning woman, if you are a high earning woman. I'm a high earning woman, you know. But I start feeling like I built the table. So why am I still trying to validate uh, myself through him when I'm the I'm the breadwinner? Right. That's you not being valued because a man who really wants you, he's going to make it happen. He's going to bring the table, the food, the house. He's going to build the house from scratch. He's going to bring everything just to say that he has you. I'm telling y'all. And think about that same reason as to, I talked about this earlier today in my TikTok live. Think about the reason why women go and say, well, he didn't value me in our relationship. And, you know, he wasn't a good provider, but his new girl, you know, I told him I wanted to be married. I was with him for five years, but his new girl got married to him within uh, six months. She gets taken care of. She don't even work. I was a freaking... I was a freaking um, multimillionaire. He's half of who he is because of me. Well, you didn't make him feel like a man, baby. So he had to go find somebody that made him feel like a man. Unfortunately, you know, and men are going to put themselves first. If they want to feel masculine, they're going to go find that woman that makes them feel like the man. You know, and there's a reason why he might have worked hard to go provide for that woman and maybe not for you. Does that mean you don't deserve to get provided for? No. It just means you need to find the man that values you and quit wasting your time. Why are you in a five-year relationship with no ring? Why are you bragging that you've been with your man since high school and have two kids and aren't married? You legally have no rights to nothing. Why are you bragging about that? That's not braggable. Just to say that you got a man. I'd rather you brag that you your standards are what they are and so you you know you can do for yourself so until somebody meets those you're good with being by yourself I'd rather you say that that sounds more pretty to me more highly desirable and that sounds more desirable to a man as well you know because when you go from a relationship like that to a new relationship and you say oh well I require x y and z you may get it. Then you may also get the men who say, well, why Why have you never been married before? And you said in your last relationship, you were together for five, for five years. He never proposed to you, but you expect me to propose to you in one? You see what I'm saying? Are you being valued in your relationship? Are you being valued? Are you a woman that is valuable? These are all questions you need to ask yourself before you start dating up, before you level up. And um, leave me some comments below what's next that you guys want to see. I'm going to start getting back on here. Sorry, I be inconsistent. You guys, I got a TikTok. I got an Instagram. I got real life. I got, that's, that's a lot, baby. I'm trying my hardest. I'm working. Y'all got me working. I don't even let men get me working. Anyway, so leave me a comment. Go follow my Instagram at the highly desired. 
Um, go follow my TikTok at stay jealous with three Ys. Go follow my personal Instagram if you want to see me being a baddie. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's at stay jealous with two Ys. And yeah. Okay. Love y'all. Bye.